What's up guys and welcome to a new video from AK Academy in uh, building secure web APIs using ASP.NET Core with Identity and JWT. Uh, it's Ahmed Muzaffar with you. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a .NET Full Stack Developer. In this session, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about ASP.NET Identity and JWT and the web API authentication. Uh, then I'm going to explain the difference between authentication and authorization. Uh, at the end, we are going to initialize our project and move to the practical part. Okay, as you can see on the screen, Identity is a membership system that adds login functionality uh, to your application. In addition to that, it provides you with the required services to manage users, passwords, profiles, email confirmation, reset uh, passwords or, okay, we have mentioned passwords, two-factor authentication, etc. JSON Web Tokens is a way to transfer JSON objects securely between two parties, which means like you have an, a JSON object and uh, this object uh, encrypted in, uh, into an access token using one of the symmetric encryption uh, algorithms and sends to other party. The other party decrypts this token and extracts the, uh, the JSON object from it. I'm going to set some URLs in the description below so you can get more and more details about this. Okay, let's talk a little about authentication in web API. There is a very big difference between authentication in API and normal websites and web applications. When a user is open the browser and navigate to a specific web application and login, the server creates a session for this user from that browser, so every time the user sends a new request, the server already knows about this user and uh, his information. But in Web API, things are different. Here, every request and response are totally independent and isolated from each other. So, how authentication could happen then? Using JSON Web Token, the users submit his credentials via the application. And then the request sent the request sends to the authenticate to the API. The authentication server receives that request and uh, takes the credentials and try to validate them. If there is already a user with that username and password, it generates an access token that contains the user's information and claims such as email, uh, phone number, first name, last name, etc and sends that access token back to the user. The client should save this access token in a secure place to use it in the future requests. When the client application wants to access a protected resources from the API, it sends that access token in the header of that request. So, the API receives that request, takes that access token and tries to validate it. If it's invalid, then it gives the user access to that resource, other than it the response with a 401 um, status code, which means that you are not authorized to access the, uh, this data or this resource. Uh, now let's explain the difference between authentication and uh, authorization. Clearly, authentication is the process of confirming of uh, confirming the user identity. If this person could have access into the system or no. And this could happen via user credentials, maybe username and password. Uh, while authorization is the process after authentication. Like after the user will get access into the system, uh, authorization means could this user access the specific resources and features within the system or not. And this could happen via rules and permissions. Uh, okay, right now let's move to the practical part in uh, this course and let's initialize our project. Okay, so let's create our solution right now. Uh, click on create new project, choose uh, this template, sp.net core web application. Okay, uh, let's call, let's give our solution a name, sp.net entity demo replace add folder and the project name is gonna be ASP.NET demo ASP.NET demo dot API and hit create 
1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.